It is a mystery that quite literally fell out of the sky. Homeowners in Gloucester suspect that their house may have been hit by something out of this world. You can see it there. There is growing evidence that it could be a meteorite. Brandon Truitt got an up-close look at it himself. In around 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we just heard this bam, this, this pow. And I jumped up and I said, what the heck was that? Late last week, door, Jim Dolan was sitting get... upstairs reading in his Gloucester townhouse when he heard something whack the side of it. He ran out to find his wife, Sue, on the lower deck. She'd heard the same thing. I said, what's, what's going on? What, what happened? And she goes, I don't know, but there's all kinds of rocks and stuff down here on the deck. So I'm picking them up and I'm looking around and I'm like, there's nobody here. There's nobody out on the water. There's nobody's throwing rocks at the house. The rock was broken into pieces and Sue says it smelled of sulfur. When she looked up, she found this damage to the brand new trim on their house. With no one around, the only place they could think to look was up. There's no way a rock could have splashed up or come from anywhere else. So it must be a meteor. Sue was genuinely curious about these, so she reached out to us to learn a little bit more. We spoke with a geophysicist who says these are a long way from home. Uh, it looks pretty convincing to me that it was a, it was a meteorite. We sent yeah, Professor there, John there Ebel this for... picture of the rocks Sue took just after she picked them up. Ebel is a geophysicist at Boston College and notes the rock mineral composition, the way it broke on impact, and yes, its reported smell as factors leading him to believe this is the real deal. Every day and every night, there are meteorites coming into the atmosphere. As for the odds they hit your house, Ebel ranks it up there with winning the lottery. The Dolans have these as keepsakes and they want to send them in for further testing. You know, it's kind of a legacy for the grandkids. With an out of this world story for the ages. In Gloucester, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.